Hello, welcome to Flint Fire Server. My name is Thomas, and today we're just going to have a quick look at uh, the creative menu in Minecraft and uh, the new kind of update for 1.3. I know it's a bit late, and I'm sorry about that, but I just had a quick thought because it has definitely changed a lot since, uh, well, the last uh, 1.2. Um, you got all these lovely little menus and stuff of everything. Basically to get on it you press E or you can change it to I. I think you can use I, I'm not quite sure. No, you can't use I. Sometimes it's E, sometimes it's I. And uh, when you get on it it should come loaded with that. You can scroll down. The nice thing is you can scroll down. Now at the moment I'm in creative as you can see but the one downside to um, 1.2's uh, creative menu was that you could only access the bottom bar so if you were to put stuff in here you can only put an, the amount of stuff um, that you can put in there in the bottom bar of the thing but now a new feature of this is you can actually access your survival inventory and all your armor as well so if I go back to creative and then I go on armor and get some diamond armor hopefully um, if I can click fast enough this is so tedious I just want to shift click but you can't um, you what you can do so I've got the armor in my hand and I'm in creative so there's not really much use for it but well what you can do is you can click on that and then you can you put the armor on uh, you couldn't weren't usually able to do that in um, creative uh, in the 1.2 but now you can do that so if we click F5 you can see me well you can see the back of my head at the moment there you go you can see me uh, with my cool notch skin that I just copied off notch uh, so basically that's one other good side to it um, you can also delete items destroy them uh, if you have unwanted items now what people say is there are never unwanted items well there are sometimes I mean an unwanted item for example why would you want a mushroom apart from making mushroom stew and all that but you don't need to make mushroom stew at the moment so why do you need it you don't and you don't it's just taking up too much space in your inventory and stuff so you can just destroy the item and that is now gone there is no way of undoing it now also uh... well and let's go over here just so we get moving around all over the place uh... this is the survival map that i did uh... the other video about what happened to flint fire on um, i'm playing survival for a minute just so i can get used to it again because I've always played multiplayer. If you've got any suggestions as to what server you uh, want me to play on or what server you play on then don't hesitate to uh, message me and tell me what it is because I want to play on multiplayer again and I haven't got any ideas as to which one to go on. If you want to have a good server or something then tell me. Um, so let's get back to the subject. Uh, if you open it up then another good thing is uh, you used to always like you say so you used to like have to scroll through the items to find the one that you could and then you went past it and you had to go back up again because you went past it but now you can search for items um, such as let's go with stairs. Oh that's not how you spell stairs is it? Okay now that will give you all of the different types of stairs the jungle ones, the birch, the spruce, the sandstone, netherrack, um, stone bricks, all of the other, all of the different types. And now you can't press E to get off this, otherwise it, otherwise it just types it. So to get off it, once you click search, you can either t click in there, or you can just click es escape, and it will get you off that menu. Basically, that's all I've got to tell you about the. Uh, well, the new creative menu for 1.3. Um, thank you for watching, and I, if you did uh, in find this video informative and helpful, then quick give it a quick like, or or even subscribe if you like what I do for videos. Um, I hope you do enjoy the new sound quality of my microphone. It is considerably better than the one before. I'm using a uh, Behringer C1 studio quality microphone, um, just to give you, uh, well, a better quality so you can hear me better hopefully um, so thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video thank you for watching